Cod fishery is the reason why we live here. We will never have lived in this area so far north if it had been for uh, the cod. I actually had the feeling that the fish that came to be fiskers, for regardless of whether you were small or you were on the sea, you had parents. It is our identity. It is really important for us that the fish is here tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. That's why we're always thinking good management. And we're thinking about our childs, we're thinking about our grandchilds. International fishing news, it's a lot of uh, doom and gloom. You know, at least at the surface, it might, it might seem that, that overfishing and Unsustainable practices uh, are more the rule uh, you know, re rather than the exception. Well, here in Norway and the Bering Sea, it's a bit different. We have a, a fishery for cod, which is at all time highs. I think we're, we're doing something right here. Well, personally, I think that our food systems have gotten a little scary over the years. We've sort of lost focus of what's so important, and we want to make sure that what we're eating is healthy for ourselves, for our the next generation and that our grandkids can eat the same species that we're eating today. My name is Nina D'Amato and I'm the supply chain manager at Blue Circle Foods. We import sustainable seafood. I think what makes us so different is that we're not just emailing people, we are visiting the people, we're visiting the fishermen, we're calling the fishermen, speaking with them daily. We're coming to visit the processor in Norway and making sure that everything is going well. And I think that sourcing something sustainably sometimes can take a little extra work or a little extra time. And maybe people don't want to spend that little extra time, but that's what really matters because if you want it to come back the next year, you can't just take everything. You have to make sure that the science is behind it and that the system is going to work. I think that we've come a long way and we have a lot still to learn. The customer has a really high responsibility to ensure that this product has a good story. The customers can make a lot of harm if they don't care what they're eating. Not everyone can travel around the world visiting where every little bit of the dish comes from that they're eating, but if the consumer demands that this is a sustainable product, that it's not destroying the environment by coming to your plate, then I think the supplier will make it a priority. When you see the Marine Stewardship Council seal, that's how the consumer knows. They see that MSC certification and they know that this product has been sourced from the most sustainable fisheries that have the best practices. Some of these fishermen in Norway, they're going to fish no matter what. They don't need to be celebrated. Just buying their product is enough for them. And they can maybe look at us as a whole, because we have tried to take care of it. And you learn your children that they should take care of it as you have done. Och det tror jag är väldigt viktigt att du kan bära bryt på landmän, att du tar vare på den resursen som så är. För vi ska ha det här i generationer att, att vi är gått bort. 